going on youtube gang appreciate you turning to another video uh, we got another reaction video this time it's going to be me reacting to sonic fox versus ninja killer at final combat which was in my opinion one of the craziest sets i've seen in this game you know these guys are all up there and sonic in this tournament in my opinion played some of the best he's ever played in their entire lives like as far as nrs games go this fool was locked in but Let's go ahead and tune into this you know what's crazy is you know there's really no favorite not even sonic was favored to win even though he's literally never really lost i really couldn't tell you who was gonna win this set because sonic was struggling with peacemaker and ninja has like in my opinion top two peacemaker with him and unjust and ninja's sweaty as on top of that but yeah sonic kind of came with a surprise johnny cage pick man i really didn't know sonic was playing johnny like that for this tournament and i didn't know that this johnny was gonna be that so like that good Motherfucker. Got the best Johnny. <laughs> so you got Ninja with Peacemaker Kano. Ninja really only plays Peacemaker Kano. Never really seen him play any other cameo with Peacemaker. It's definitely strong. And you got Johnny with the Johnny Chameleon at this point in time. These are the two top two characters in this patch. Top two, undoubtedly. You see these characters multiple times throughout tournaments. One, two of the most heavy, like heaviest pick characters. Ninja trying to utilize that down three to get under Johnny's forward one and also kind of try to contest that forward three. Because Johnny has an insane forward advancing mid nine frame normal with forward three. And uh, he also has that forward one, which is super fast and you really can't react to it. So you kind of just have to stick out pokes. So he's kind of just filling the space with down three with Peacemaker, filling the space so that if Sonic tries to forward advance with either of those normals, he gets clipped. And then Ninja will take advantage of the hit advantage. Also, down three into Eagles. Damn near a guess. You'll see a lot of down threes from Ninja or down three Eagles. Never really see people use that. That's what I'm saying. I've literally never seen this used. I can't believe Sonic was even thinking to use this. Literally forgot he could do it too. I can't believe nobody does this move. Because Johnny really doesn't need meter in this with this team. Sonic is just playing so he's just throwing so many options. Really just mixing the RPS up really well with the strike throw. You got stand one plus four, two, stand two plus four, stand four plus three or four. Sonic is also mixing in Glaive really well. But Ninja also likes Peacemaker because he can react to Glaive with the torpedo like he just did. Peacemaker does very well versus Chameleon. And also Johnny does very well versus Peacemaker and does well versus Chameleon. So this is why you'll see a lot of Johnnies do well, or at least Johnny's people choose Johnny versus Peacemaker because Johnny actually, unlike most characters, has actual options versus the Peacemaker be doing. You see how he's kind of like throwing that out as a, a way to like check Sonic's movement or his buttons? But Sonic actually just sniped that button right here. Boom. The adaptation is crazy. No, like not a lot of Johnny's utilize that, that button. That button's a great whiff punish tool. The hitbox on it is crazy. And he couldn't break. That was so good. He got an Emperor there. Ninja definitely didn't want that because there's just no reason to get that. And just died. Just lost the round for that. We take those, I guess, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? We take those, bro. You really don't get Ninja to see. You really don't see input errors or errors, execution errors in general from Ninja. So seeing him fuck up is like, you got to take full advantage because motherfuckers doesn't go off. Nice. Put yourself in the corner though. Goes for the mid check. Deep jump kick plus frames. Also hard anti air. Gets out the corner for free. Safety and spacing. Kind of running back. And then Sonic closes the distance. So Ninja tried to basically use Eagly to get space and start running away and establishing a zoning game. And then Sonic literally just threw Glaive because Glaive is a free neutral tool. You just kind of throw it out and get in for free. So Ninja basically was trying to get out for free. And then Sonic stopped him from getting out for free by getting in for free. Crazy. In there. 
Now Sonic really just needs single hits at this point. Kind of just throwing out sweeps, pokes. Every hit matters at this point. Everything. He doesn't need a big hit. Just needs shit to. He just needs little hits. Basically jabs. Hit a blow. We're gonna go ahead and not watch that. Then just kind of trying to just chip away Sonic as well. But Sonic just is just making the decisions. He's just making the right decisions. Everything is just the right decision. But yeah, I'm very surprised Ninja didn't kind of like come off the Peacemaker. Ninja was very determined to stick with that Peacemaker this whole tournament. Not even the whole tournament. Yeah, basically even the whole uh, group stages and top eight only came off Peacemaker for Liu Kang once. And that was like his final game when he's about to get eliminated. He just said, we're going Liu. I wonder what his reasoning was. I wonder if he just truly believes he wouldn't have got as far as he did without Peacemaker. I wonder if he would have did better. We could always wonder, right? Because Luke Kang is insane. Okay. Greed on the grab, man. All the reads. Sonic is just has top one reads. Top one reads. That was a that was a and yeah, balls like. Muff clearly did that because. He's up 2-0, but I wouldn't doubt that Sonic would do that down 2-0 as well, you know? Sonic is just willing to make decisions and live with the repercussions. Some people, they are afraid of the repercussions of a bad decision or a potential punishable decision. And sometimes if they just would have said, get it and did it, it would have worked. But a lot of people are scared to do things because of the potential of punishment. But Sonic, even though he's one of the best players in the world, does risky things. And it didn't work that time, but look at Ninja got another Kano eye laser input error. That's death. Literally the round, and he's going to get full hype. I would have never picked Sonic winning 3-0 in a de decisive manner, though. I wouldn't have personally. Sonic was just making the reads. I wonder if uh, Ninja would have did better with Peacemaker Chameleon, though. Out the corner. Sonic is also one of the few Johnnies who has enough balls to go for the side switch combo in a situation like this, where if you drop it, like you just, you just literally basically lose the game because you just gave up the opportunity. Some people would just say, can I not go for the side switch combo? Cause it's a little harder and they might drop it. But Sonic said, it, I need the positioning. If I want to make this comeback, I need the position. This combo is not even that hard, but some people still just wouldn't do it. I've seen multiple people just decide to go mid screen with it because they don't want to drop it. And another thing that's so good about Sonic is he's not afraid to throw Ninja in this set. Not afraid at all. Sonic is like, I'm going to keep throwing you. You better keep teching. I have a nine frame mid. Are you going to duck? Not really. Ninja knows he can't really just sit there and duck these throws. He has to kind of be careful because of 4-3 from, from Johnny. Such a good mid. Throw tech puts him out of spacing. Bro, I literally screamed out loud when I first watched the set. This isn't my first time watching the set. I watched it live. I literally screamed when he did this because I was not. I was low-key like, he's going to rob this. I just don't know how, but I didn't think he was going to whip punish a down three like that. I knew Sonic had to have been fishing, though, for the fatal blow hit because he couldn't. He, he, he I already know Sonic's looking at Ninja's meter. Like, if I can get a hit before he gets breaker, I win. Because in reality, it's... There's no chance Sonic wins this match just based on the health lead and like the resources and how it's very hard to come back on Peacemaker. This is a character that's very difficult to come back on. So Sonic did the only thing he could have did, which was whiff punish something in the fatal blow. Look at the spacing after the throw tech left him in the perfect distance to whiff punish something. Bro, come on. Um, insane. Insane, bro. I did not, I ain't gonna lie. This tournament run was one of the most impressive runs in my opinion that I've seen Sonic make. And Sonic has won a lot of tournaments, beating a lot of the GOATs, a lot of the great players. But the reason why this one sticks out to me so much is because this current meta is so hard to win in because the top two characters just on everybody damn near. And Sonic still managed to find an answer. And even though the answer was Johnny, who was the other broken character, that just shows Sonic's willingness to do what needs to be done to win. You know what I'm saying? Sonic's not Brown. Sonic's not going to come to these tournaments for, you know, 200k and play some ass shit. He saw Peacemaker as a problem. 
he went to the only other thing that can give peacemaker an actual problem which was johnny and johnny also does good versus johnny but props to uh, sonic and props to ninja ninja got third place came out with a little bag too one of the ghosts shout out to nico who uh, got second went crazy and uh shout out to sonic for collecting another bag and still raining till this day but that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like the video please drop a like and subscribe to the channel but until next time peace